Hey guys, welcome back to TechCast and welcome to another video. The addition of Siri is arguably the biggest change to this year's Mac software update. And even though Mac OS Sierra is still in an early beta stage, it's a great place to start to get an idea of what's to come. So let's have a fresh look at Siri for your Mac. The first thing I want to talk about is that there are three ways to access Siri. You can either click the Siri icon in the menu bar, you can click on the Siri dock icon, or you can use a keyboard shortcut to talk to Siri. And these methods, they work from anywhere, and a little Siri window will just pop up in the top right-hand side of your screen, no matter which app you're in. Heading into the system preferences, you now have a Siri preference pane, where you'll find all the settings for Siri. You can choose the language, you can change the Siri voice, as well as customize the keyboard shortcut you use to launch Siri. Siri's come a long way and is available in several different languages. Starting Siri, you can ask for quite a bit of specific information about your Mac and no longer have to go looking for it. For example, you can ask, how much free space do I have? What's my Mac's serial number? Or how much iCloud storage do I have? Siri can also find your folders and files, and you can be pretty specific with this. You can say something like, show me the documents I worked on yesterday in Pages, or show me the JPEG files on my desktop, and Siri will find them and show them to you. You can also use Siri to open apps and change certain settings, such as turning on Bluetooth or making your screen brighter. Not to mention all the other things Siri can already do that we're used to by now. Another cool feature that has been built into Siri is the option to keep search results pinned into your notification center. So if you're looking into sports scores or upcoming games of your favorite sports team, you can pin it right into your notification center and easily access it there at any time. What I think is really useful about Siri is that it's a little pop-up window that you can interact with no matter which app you're currently using. It's not like on the iPhone where when you start talking to Siri you have to stop everything else that you're doing. So if you're writing an email or a pages document, for example, you can just call on Siri and ask her to show you pictures of something that you'd like to see and then drag and drop an image directly into the document. I think that makes it really useful. There's still a lot of improvements that need to be done before Siri can be released to the public this fall, but I really do think that they're on the right track. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about Siri on the Mac in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.